Hello everyone and welcome back to the App Jobs channel where we talk about all the ways you can make money using apps. Today we're going to be talking about tips that can help you make more money while working with TaskRabbit. But before we jump into that, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when we have a new video coming. There's a little bell next to the button too, that is the notification, so click on that too, so then you get an email when we have a new video up. And after you've done that, we're good to go. So to start off, TaskRabbit is an on-demand task service that connects people that are in need to mark off some stuff from their to-do list with people that have time to help them out with that. So basically, you're gonna be working as a personal assistant. You can help people in many different ways. You can find tasks from assembling furniture, to cleaning, to pet sitting, to yard work, or even some minor fixes in the house, for example. Now you know that to make this video, we actually went online in different posts and videos and different social media to find out reviews and information from people that actually worked as a tasker with TaskRabbit. So before we jump in into the tips that are also from these videos and, and blog posts, we also found out some useful information that I think you would like to know before you start working with TaskRabbit. One of them is that you have to pay $20 to sign up. One of those things is that you need to pay $20 to start working with TaskRabbit. Differently from most app jobs out there where signing up is for free, you need to pay this fee to start working. But, and that's a big but, it, that might not be the worst thing ever. While we were looking for people's opinion on this fee and the amount of money that they made after, it was actually pretty worth it. So if you think it together with me, having a fee to start working, to sign up with an app is not that bad because you can control how many people are actually gonna sign up, right? So this means that even though you pay $20 to start, you will still have demand of services and tasks to get done. With some apps, you can see that there's a problem with demand where a lot of people are there to start working, but because there's so many, there are actually not enough tasks for everyone. So you're gonna have those 20 bucks back apparently from all the work you're gonna get done and the money. <laughs> Another thing is that the app also helps you setting the rates for the task you're doing. So while you're going through the money, how much money you're gonna ask for the task you're offering, you can see if that price is too low or too high compared to the market. So you have a little bit of a way to measure that up. Now on to our amazing tips that were like taken all the from the internet and people that worked as taskers. We're actually gonna leave everything in the description box so you can read and see these opinions and the videos that we took this information from. The first tip is for you to always create a good application when you go for a task. You have to write down a good pitch for all the tasks that you're doing. So really pour your heart out and information so give details, experiences, and even some references from jobs that you did before. And with TaskRabbit, you also have an option to do a video telling about your experience. So always be helpful and optimistic and at the same time professional. The second tip I have for you is to work with lower rates in the beginning. You know, TaskRabbit is all about a strong profile. So maybe in the beginning you're gonna have to go and accept some jobs that you wouldn't take it right away just so you have some stuff there and you actually create your profile with experiences so people can start seeing you as the best person to get that task done. Just in the beginning, after you get your whole portfolio and full of experiences, you can put your rates up because this means that you have more experience. And that's the third tip, to raise your rates frequently. The more jobs you get done, the more experience you get done, and this means that you get your jobs done in a better quality and with less time. So ra raising your rates will mean that you are the best person to get that task done, as we said on tip two. Also, having the lowest price is not necessarily a good thing because people might not think, might not trust right away that you can do this with a good quality. Prices are actually the best option because the clients think that they're gonna have a good deal with a reliable service. Number four is a very classic tip for any kind of side hustle or app job that you're doing. Answer your requests promptly. Make sure to set up the notification 
notifications and always be on your app to check out if someone asks for a request. With TaskRabbit specifically, you only have 30 minutes to accept or deny a request from a task. So make sure to be available to answer in a nice professional way and uh, to be there because this means that your rates can go up too. And tip number five is for you to know your limits. I know you get super excited, you want to start a new job and you see all these tasks, but make sure to manage your time well. For some tasks, you're gonna need more time and you're gonna actually need, gonna need some planning for your calendar. So make sure to not take a lot of tasks that you can do it or that you're gonna have a short time and you're not gonna be able to do a good job. It's better for you to create your schedule with enough time to get things done with patient and calm and attention to details because this means that you're gonna do a better job and you can get better reviews and that means that your profile is gonna be stronger. And obviously that means more money too. Last but not least, let's make a little list on which tasks are the ones that actually pay the most. So from top to bottom you have IKEA furniture because basically IKEA bought TaskRabbit a while ago so this means that they actually suggest to people that just bought their furniture if they need help assembling that. So it's a actually a very good deal to find clients within the platform. And this also goes for other general furniture assembly. It's actually the best one that pays the most. And there, and then there is more demand too. Number two is cleaning. Number three is mounting. So you can be mounting any kind of uh, uh, things in the house, you know, like putting a TV up or a, a frame. You have organization and minor home repairs. Amazon also has a partnership together with TaskRabbit. So this means that you can do some stuff from Amazon too some yard work and also some pet sitting which is quite surprising so that's a task that you can get done too. So that's pretty much it for the information we have on TaskRabbit. As you can see, you actually need to put a lot of time on it. You have to write good pitches for the tasks you want to do. You need to cre create a very good schedule. And uh, there are a quite, quite a few steps that you need to get done before you start making actual money. So you're gonna need a little bit of patience. And to be honest, it doesn't look like something that you can do right away and pretty fast. You're gonna have to have the 20 bucks first and you're gonna have to start doing small and like tasks that don't pay that much to start off. So if you need money right away, it doesn't look like TaskRabbit is an option. But when it comes to the this kind of task apps, it looks like TaskRabbit is the one that pays the most, has a pretty good competitive salary. And that's it. Make sure to go to appchops.com if you want to start working with TaskRabbit or any other app out there. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, leave a comment down there talking to me. Like, do you have any questions? Do you want to start working with TaskRabbit right away? Would that be your first app job or do you have experience with it? Or do you have any questions or you feeling a bit lost and need some help? We can help you out. Um, and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.